uh, we're here with AJ Near, the wonderful producer of Tin Holiday, um, here in Cannes. Welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so I gather this isn't your first time in Cannes. You've been here a couple uh, of other years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here before. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a veteran, but I pretty much know my way around. That's brilliant. Yeah, it takes a while to figure out these streets, but if you've been here a few times, you can just experience the wonderfulness that is the festival. Um, but we'd love to um, talk to you today a little bit about Tin Holiday and, and what it's about and um, how you came up with the idea and, uh, or, and the production side of the movie. Sure. Thanks. Well, basically, um, Joe Camarino, who's a writer-director, he um, met me on Twitter. Wow. Yeah, and uh, contacted me and said that, you know, he had a project that he wanted to film in London and Los Angeles. Uh -huh. And he wanted, you know, to, to speak with me about the, the, the London side of things. And yeah. I was like, well, yeah, not a problem at all. Um, we had a number of uh, uh, Skype chats and telephone calls. And next thing you know, about two months, three months later, we were in pre-production. Don't know how it just all just fell into place. Um, Craig, who's over there, um, he, hi, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he was also one of the producers on the film. Yeah. Um, and so then we we just went out. We shot um, in twenty three days. Wow. Three days. Wow. Um, in, in like Los Angeles and London. Amazing. So, yeah. Wow, that's so awesome. So social media and then two different social media to set everything up, and then you're shooting multi-country. So, yeah, yeah. so how do you make that work with um, the the weather and the light? I mean, was that quite a lot of talk and expenses about about that? Well, weather-wise, we had to do it summertime here. Uh, yeah. Well, here in in the UK yeah. um, and LA because it's sunny all the time, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. So it, it was pretty much uh, we shot in London. And then about a couple of weeks later, we, we finished it off in L.A. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been great. The tra trailer is now complete. Um, Woohoo! I'm, I'm here with the trailer. Um, yes. Where can we see it? It's not up yet. Oh, no. OK. It's still a big secret. It's a big secret. <laughs> OK. Is there a website or something that our viewers can yeah, have a look? We're on um, uh, Facebook and Twitter. Um, there is, is the website. Has it gone up? No, the website hasn't gone up yet, but Facebook and Twitter, we're there. Um, um, we've got quite a, a, a decent following. Um, so a lot, a lot of people you know, message and, and ask how things are going, etc. But it's, it's going great. Um, here pitching that, um, spoke to quite a few distribution companies, uh, sales agents, got some uh, pretty big meetings next week as well. Next week are the, are the, are the biggest meetings. We, we, like, we get everything out of the way the first week, and then the second week is usually more intense more business 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 yeah where it's a little bit more light-hearted the first week mm -hmm. um as far as finances and things like that i, I tend to find the second week is when that happens yeah. so i'm here with a few other scripts as well pitching those interesting. so i just want to go back to um this one so that's an interesting strategy that you spend the first week sort of getting into the festival and and sort of becoming acclimatized and then the second week you kind of um go more into the meetings and um what what kind of thing do you um prepare for the meetings and um yeah, what kind of, how do you, how would you pitch in one of those meetings? Well, first of all, uh, you need to know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, you, you're going to be stuck. So you need to, like, you need to have a full budget plan and you need to have, you know, um, sales expectations and, and the reasons as to why you think those expectations are what you think they are. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually comparisons with similar movies and similar genres and um, maybe uh, with some of the actors that we've got in it yeah. um, because you know our lead female is Rosanna Holt who's Nicholas wow. Nicholas wow. sister. Wow, wow, so tell us how did you get her involved? Well um, I just call her agent and I said I want, I want her to audition and yeah. you know she really liked the script and she came in and um, uh, she read for us. Uh, we had a massive competition, though, because uh, uh, we really struggled with, with, with that role. Yeah. Um, it took us probably three weeks more on the lead female than it did on any other character. Wow, because there's so many people applying for the role. We, well, not even just so many people. But we had, like, four really strong contenders. Wow. And literally, in the end, uh, uh, Rosie just pipped it. And I think it was mainly due to her, her chemistry with Juan Monsalves, who, who played the lead male. And that, that's what did it. Yeah. The, the way they read together was just perfect. And so it, it was a done deal from that moment. Yeah, and I think that's what, from what I've seen at the Cannes Film Festival, I think that that makes everything kind of worth watching when you have that amazing chemistry on, on the screen. It's just electric. Yeah, I think a lot of times you find that when you've got two actors that are in a movie or a television show, whatever it may be, if there's no chemistry between them, it feels really dead. Mm -hmm. um, so we were so lucky that these guys, literally, the first time they read together, it was just done. 
Uh, we literally, we, we said to her, you know, just step out for a second. And um, Joe, the director, looked at me, Juan looked at me, and I was like, done. And they were like, yes. Awesome. So uh, there was, it was a unanimous decision at that point. So there was, you know, luckily no arguments or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And AJ, I know that you have other skills as well as producing. You're also an actor. Um, were you acting in this one? Uh, I did, yeah. The, the director wrote a little role in there for me. Um, he was a bit of a nutcase of an actor, yeah. uh, a character rather, yeah. um, which was interesting to play. Yeah. How was that? So were you on set for the whole 23 days and um, acting a couple of days of those 23? Or? Exactly. I think I did uh, four days of film, four or five days of filming, um, and the rest was just on set as a producer um, and sleeping about half an hour a night. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we had, we had, we had a, cu a couple of teething issues with... Um, uh, DIT, so yeah. I, I kind of had to start from scratch and do it all myself. Wow. <laughs> so that was a little bit frustrating, um, but last yeah. bit, hiccups happen all the time. Yeah, if you don't have those, what's the excitement of filmmaking, right? <laughs> yeah, totally true, 100%. Um, so just for our viewers, what, would you, what advice would you give a producer that wanted to, um, you know, get more involved in the industry, kind of someone that's starting out, how, what would you say to them? To be honest, the film industry is a business. Um, and from a producing standpoint, it's 100% a business. Um, you need to, again, you need to know your numbers. You need to know what you're doing. But as far as finding the right script is usually generally one of the hardest things to do. Um, you need to understand, you know, the way that characters develop over a script, the way that, um, you know, the, the storyline moves. You know, you have to understand the pacing of a film. Um, so, number one, if, if you watch a lot of movies, movies and, you, and you read a lot of scripts, that's the first step. Um, and once you kind of got the hang of it, find that right script for yourself. And as long as you believe in it, other people will believe in it as well. And I think that's something that Steven Spielberg mentioned today as well about the magic of filmmaking and believing in yourself, believing in the script. 100%. Yeah, there's no, I mean, there's no other way. If you have no belief, there's no point. Thanks, AJ. Thank you so much. Um, so that's it. Now you have it. This is AJ Nier and we're reporting here from Cannes.